Tulsa King is a masterpiece. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Hercules, and let's get right into it. So, I just got done watching Tulsa King, and oh boy, oh boy, is this one of the greatest shows I've seen 2022-2023 because it, it just ended right well it ended last week but I just got I was just able to finish it this week it's incredible Sylvester Stallone kills it kills it this guy is phenomenal I really love the the part where they go back in time and see how he ends up in jail but overall it's phenomenal guys Tulsa King if you don't know what it is, if you don't know the premise, I'm going to give you a quick premise or quick plot. So Tulsa King takes place in, well, Tulsa, Oklahoma, but not just Tulsa. It takes place in New York and it takes place in Oklahoma, more of a, the countryside, if you will. But. Tulsa King is about a guy that was a mob boss, a uh, a jefe, and uh, he spends 25 years in jail for something, and once he gets out, he goes back to trying to live the life of a mob, of a capo, uh, of a lieutenant, a leader. Not He's not the head guy, but he's one of the you can say vice president or something like that and for 25 years he's been in jail so he's lost contact for with his wife his uh daughter and even his uh his family his mob ties and when he gets out he's in new york new jersey i think and um he's talking to them and he wants to get back into the business and well they decide to send him to Tulsa so he can have his own territory. And this is where things pick up because this guy, he's been away for 25 years. He doesn't know uh, how life is outside. He's new to phones. He's new to the uh, banks. He's new to uh, Uber. He's new to weed dispensary. So when he gets to Tulsa, he meets a gentleman uh, that becomes his uh, driver slash uh, employee and they go into a weed dispensary and he basically threatens to take over and but he does it in like in a fun way and like in a way where if that was Sylvester Stallone coming into my business and talking to me like that I would let him join my company I would let him run it pretty much and Overall, he's trying to build something for him, and he's meeting new characters, meeting new people, old people that from the past, and his world is building, but yet, there is the FBI, there's the ATF, I want to say, or ATD, so there's like multiple police out there, and he meets a woman, and it, overall, guys, I'm not giving you the best uh, plot. But overall, it's a guy that went from New York to now Oklahoma of all places, and he's building his own group. But there's a biker group, there's corrupt cops, uh, cops, and uh, he has to deal with all that, and at the same time, trying to live by the the mob family rules. But things take a different direction. But I definitely guarantee you guys going out and watching this. This is probably one of the best things Sylvester Stallone has done in recent years. Recent years, guys. Maybe even since Rockies. Um, some might say the Expandables. But I, I really think this is probably one of the best things he's got. And it's already been greenlit for uh, season two. Oh, and another thing. The guy that created this created Yellowstone. Created the prequels to Yellowstone, created uh, Mayor of Kingston, which is another uh, topic I'm going to talk about in another video, which is also incredible. He also was the cop, the young cop 
and uh, Sons of Anarchy. And there's probably other stuff he's done, but he's also the guy that created uh, the Sicario movies. If you guys don't know, the Sicario movies, Sicario 1 and Sicario uh, The Day of the Dead, I think, or something like that it's called. Um, this guy is phenomenal. So there is people behind this that are fucking amazing. And I guarantee you guys are going to enjoy this show. I think it's a 10 out of 10. It's beautifully done. Sylvester Stallone at the top of his game. And I can't wait for season two. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. If you guys already seen Tulsa King, let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't, let me know if you're going to try to catch it, watch it, enjoy it. Because I think it's phenomenal. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll catch you guys next time.